prior to the constitutional dispensation, administration of estates was classified according to racial groups and the estates of black and white people were handled differently. Section 23 of the Black Administration Act provided that where a black person died testate, that is, where he died leaving a valid will, the estate had to be administered by the master of the high court. However, if he died interstate, that is, that is, if he died without leaving a valid will, the estate had to be administered by the magistrate in whose jurisdiction such a black person resided. In the Musenege case, the differential treatment of estates for black and white people is challenged. Read this case in order to understand how the different courts arrived at the decision to declare certain provisions in legislation unconstitutional and the effect of each case in South African law. In the midst of the discourse on racial discrimination, the customary law rule of male primogeniture was also challenged in our courts. This rule was considered in the Bear case. Make sure that you read the court's ruling in this regard. The interstate succession in customary law is regulated by the Customary Law of Succession Act. In terms of this act, an adopted child and a seed raiser are deemed descendants of the deceased and therefore can inherit in terms of interstate succession. It is important that you note how succession differs from inheritance. That way, you will not confuse the two concepts as you proceed with this chapter. Inheritance has to do with the division of the deceased estate, either testate or interstate. Liabilities of the deceased are set off against the assets and then the estate is divided amongst the heirs. Succession, on the other hand, has to do with the successor taking the place of the deceased and gaining control of his assets and assuming responsibilities of his liabilities. The distinction between inheritance and succession is of particular importance when dealing with property in respect of a traditional leader. Inheritance of a deceased traditional leader's property and succession to his office are different. Furthermore, personal property and property acquired in an official capacity from the deceased traditional leader's office are treated differently. 